Thor, where do I begin? We have waited over 12 years for this day to come. And I would have waited another 12 years just to share this day with you. I thought the day we met was the best day ever, but nothing compares to what I'm feeling here today on our wedding day. You are my strength when I am weak, my protector when I am scared, and my support in times of need. You make home go from a place to a feeling, because wherever I am with you, my heart is home. Lydia, I am proud to take you as my wife. From this moment forward, I promise to always treat you as my best friend and my soulmate. To continue to love you with as much passion as our first embrace, I give you my hand and my heart as I join my life with yours. In you, I have found my truest and closest friend. Even after all this time, you are still you, I am still me. We are still us, forever in love. Family and friends, we welcome you today to witness the marriage of Lydia and Thor. Thor, may you pledge to each other to be loving friends and partners in marriage, to talk and to listen and appreciate one another, to respect and cherish each other's uniqueness, to support, comfort, and strengthen each other through life's joys and sorrows. May you promise to share hopes, thoughts, and dreams as you build your lives together. But before you do that, I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith, trust, and acceptance, will be the foundation of an abiding and deepening relationship. Today and always, I vow to be grateful for you. I vow to never lose our passion and sense of adventure. I vow to never stop loving you in good times and in bad. Most importantly, I vow to be your one true love for as long as this life shall give us. Thor, I offer you this ring. Lydia, I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my love to you. May the threads of these family tartans, first yours, Lydia's, and now Thor's, represent the richness of your love for each other and the binding of two families. Now, let's make this official. I am pleased to pronounce you, Lydia and Thor, as husband and wife. Please celebrate your marriage with a kiss. I can't express to you all how much it means to Lydia and I to have you here. I'm so thankful to be surrounded by so many amazing people. Lydia's definitely one of the smallest fish in the pond, but she has one of the biggest hearts. I've had the privilege of watching this girl who used to wear her hoodies and jeans transform into a beautiful, stunning young, <laughs> young woman. And I couldn't imagine a better uh, bride for my brother. And uh, we welcomed you into our family 12 years ago. And now we welcome you as our sister. For my little brother. Ah. The love and support that you've shown uh, Lydia over the, the last 12 years is hard to come by. Your hard work and selflessness makes uh, me proud to call you my brother. <coughs> Thor, for you in my eyes, 
you're always the guy for Lydia. The one to make her happy. Lydia, I'm honored to be with you during this amazing time in your life. To me, you're not just a friend, but also a sister I never had. You have such a beautiful soul. And I'm so blessed to have had you in my life for so long. The best love is a kind that awakens the soul. It makes us reach for more. That plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. And that's what you two have, and I hope lasts forever. Thor, I still remember the first time, this really took me up here, the first time I met you, when you were just a young lad trying to impress Lydia. Little did I know then that that teenage crush would grow into love and that one day he would be my son-in-law. But I'm happy he did. Just remember the vows that you took today and be grateful that you found each other. Don't try to change each other because you're both perfect the way you are. And as the years fly by, your love will grow. So ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to raise your glasses and have a toast to Lady of the Thor.